Well, as you have likely noticed at this point, it is now Star Wars Month again on Channel Grim and Grin. Which means, among other things, it's time for some Star Wars related build requests. This first vehicle was actually, in fact, not requested, or at least as of making this video it's not been yet. But don't worry, all the other build requests going up through May have actually been asked for by you guys. But I wanted to do at least one vehicle from the new movie, and as no one requested any of them, I figured I would just pick one at random. And having done so, I'm building the Ski Speeder from the planet Crate. I chose the vehicle because they're pretty cool looking, and I had a good idea for the sand kicking up effect, even if they are quite possibly the most useless vehicle in all of Star Wars. So I suppose it wasn't entirely random that I selected it, but whatever. It should be noted for those that are watching this, that I actually made this vehicle before the film was out on DVD, and I only had the trailer to go by as far as reference pictures goes, and my memory of having watched the film. So there will be no doubt things wrong with it, but hey, it was the best I could do at the time, maybe at some point I'll revisit it, but at the moment it'll have to do. Firstly, as far as the ski was concerned, I was going to make it with floaters, turning it into a bit of a water ski, rather than it being a sand ski, or a, a, a salt ski as the salter is so helpful to inform us. However, despite experimenting with this, I just couldn't get it to work the way I wanted, and so I ended up changing it to actually having a wheel. Which, I think technically means this vehicle is a salt unicycle, not to be confused with an assault unicycle, which is what a clown rides into battle. Once this was decided on, the main difficulty of the vehicle was trying to get the balance right, not the balance of trying to get it to stand up on the wheel, but trying to get it to not fall over, versus against making it so powerful that it wouldn't just fly away. I mean, ironically, this vehicle would have been far easier to make if it was just an airship or if it was just a hovercraft of some sort, which kind of raises the question, in a universe like Star Wars, what is the point of having this silly ski? I mean, come on, this is a universe where even a poor moisture farmer on a backwards planet in the middle of nowhere can afford a hovercraft to do his errands, and that hovercraft is, 45 years before this movie is set, already outdated. Are you honestly telling me that a jet-powered hovercraft that can't hover too much because it has to balance precariously on a ski was easier to make and more practical than just having a simple hovercraft? Which no doubt has the answer, of course it would have been easy to make grim, but then it wouldn't have kicked up the salt creating that cool red footprint effect. And then if that was the case, we would have absolutely no way of telling what on the screen was a resistance vehicle, and what on the screen was a force projection. I am of course being facetious, so let's move on. As the balance was slowly improving with my constant shifting of power versus weight, we eventually got to a point that I was comfortable to start adding some more aesthetic pieces, the chief among them being the flamethrower towards the wheel of the vehicle, in order to give off that cool footprint effect. I did try to give it wings at one point to help it glide a bit more, but it made it turn too sharply and just drift into the ground, and so I gave up on that and returned back to the method I was using. Then, finally once the functionality was pretty much entirely nailed down, I made sure to make it a little bit less dynamic and a little bit uglier, because the vehicles are falling apart, they've been in storage for god knows how long, so they've really got to have that resistance rebellion look to it where it's all a bit shoehorned, and once that was done, the vehicle turned out pretty darn good. It's almost certainly not screen accurate, but I think you can probably recognise what it's supposed to be. As far as functionality goes, it's definitely not a very useful vehicle, but in my defence, in the movie, I'm not sure a single First Order soldier died at the hands of one of these vehicles, so I guess the impracticality of my replica is pretty darn accurate. And so as always, thanks for watching. If you want this vehicle yourself, when I stop talking in a moment, there'll be the layer by layer of it, so you can copy it into your own save. And until next time, I have been and still am Grim Grindle. And as I said, this is Star Wars Month, so make sure to stay tuned and check out our other Star Wars related videos. We've got lots of them going up, so if you are a fan, there'll be plenty to see.